Yeah, right there, we're back again. Um, managed to find a 104 male mammoth just outside the gates. So we kited him in, and we're using the ape taming house to uh, block him and then hit him in the head and tame him. Should be good. Okay. Let's see if we can get him down. I think I'll call this guy William. William! William Wallace! <laughs> Let's count in our chickens before the patch day. Um, have I got enough arrows? Probably not. Started off with about 50. Come on. Just there. Uh oh, he's down. Just camera up there. There we go, we should be better. Nice! He's down! Male 104. We're going to kibble tame this one and I'm going to starve it for quite a bit. I want to get at least 15 kibble in him so that we can just do this in one shot. Um, yeah, where's the bar? Yeah, so let's have a look at his stats. And it's not a 120, but it's over 100. So look at that 2500 health, 810 stamina. 1400 wow weight almost 600 melee damage is fairly low movement speed is bog standard 100 anyway we really need a high level mammoth um, you'll be like the leader of the pack now and you'll also be like one of the defenders um, like I said we've had a few, few carnivores spawn around this area and um, a raptor killed me it was actually the same raptor that we dumped outside the fence the other day it um, <coughs> attack me outside and managed to kill me so yeah we're gonna get this done and um, like I said pure Kimball team so for now we're gonna need to put some narcos on him well, not that many because I don't want to lose army narcos so I'll tell you what we'll do we'll take that half and we'll half those okay so that'll do for now and yeah I'm gonna start making up some kibble and I'll be back when I've got the kibble ready to feed this guy and tame him up so I'll see you in a bit. Um, when did they add this? Uh, this is a little bit too much detail for my liking. Nothing to see here. Move along. I uh, just thought I'd come and show you this. You know, like last episode we tamed uh, Swamp Ape. So, how's Swamp Ape been doing since last episode? Um, <laughs> Jesus. As you can see, there's a lot of fight. Whoa, ants, ants, ants. I can hear you. I can hear you. Stomp, stomp, smash. Where did that... It must have snuck underneath the door over there. I've put some spikes around it, but I said we're going to block it up with some foundations at some point. Let's just check that again. As you can see, lots and lots and lots of fibre. That's awesome. Lovely jubbly. Um, we're going to hit you on health just for a few times, and then... Yeah, you've got some nice berry action going on here. You eat these seeds. Get them out of your inventory. Seeds are good for you. Okay, so he's got a little bit of wooden thatch. We'll drop the wood. And we'll take his fatch. Uh, but yeah, you can keep hold of all that fibre. Keep on going, yo. More the merrier. I'm going to need it for the kibble. So it does work. It's very good. It's useful. Let me just get this. Have a drink. Yeah. So we're off to make some kibble. See you in a bit. Hello there, people. We're in uh, Hell's Kibble Kitchen. And we're about to make some kibble. So I just need to... I've got everything over there, so I'm just going to get some water. I'm looking at I'm making about 16 kibble. And it's Raptor. It's not Dillos, as I keep getting confused. But it doesn't matter, so uh, we need veg. We'll take the long grass. We'll just split that in half. It's long grass, isn't it? Yep. And I've already got some meat jerky ready in the pot. So we're going to do, where's it gone, that can go in there, oh I need to get Mejo's as well don't I, so I'll get Mejo's in a second, is it Mejo's, yeah everything requires Mejo's, so we'll put half of these in here, is that enough, and we'll put the other half in here. Is 
Now, I could just take them straight off the beds. Um, as you can see, they're full. All these beds are full now. There's uh, pretty much 300 in each stack. Uh, there's some long grass over here. But like I said, I've got plenty for now. Um, I've got berries coming out my ears, basically. Um, yeah, so we'll take two stacks of 100. And that should do it. Yeah, we've been working uh, quite hard to get all this prepped up, ready to go. So, access inventory. There we go. Now, everything's in there to create kibble. The um, cooked meat jerky, I've got ten in each pot, so we've got more than enough. We've got eight eggs in each one, and we've got the uh, long grass. So if we need any more long grass, we can just go and grab some. So I'll light this up. Second one, just so we can speed this up a little bit. We go ready to go, and we've got the spark powder, so we're not going to create any charcoal and make any paint by accident, of course. So we'll just watch this one until the first one's done. Sorry about that. So it should take a minute, and then it'll be done. So we'll get one, two, three, four, six out of this one. Might have to go back for another lot of water, but you know, you got to do it. Whatever. I've actually got some water jars on me, so yeah, there's your first kill there. So we'll just take that off. We'll give it a second and then I'll stick my water jar in. So we've got one raptor kibble there, so that'll be for the mammoth, hopefully. And like I said, we're going to starve it down for a bit and then we're going to hit it with about 16 raptor kibble and see if that will tame it in one go. Because at level 104, it should do uh, really well out of that, hopefully, if nothing hits it. I've got um, swamp ape guarding it at the minute so everything should be okay we've got another water's gone so we'll take that out and we'll put that in and while I'm here I might as well just uh, oh, where are we access inventory we'll fill these back up again and I'll put my other water jar in. okay so just give me a second which one was it this one don't put it out by accident um, yeah we're going to take those off that in there. So we've got two kibble from that one, we'll just take them out now. As you can see the, the spoil timer on is days, it's ridiculous, so <laughs> there's no worries about that spoiling on us. Okay, that's some more kibble there. Got another three, that's great, six. Um, water skin, water skin. So I've got five more, that should be enough water in there now, no problems. Got enough in here. We should have enough water in here now to do it as well. Just got to keep an eye on, make sure that we've got enough long grass and enough medjo berries. Should be more than enough. Seven kibble, nearly that. I love my kitchen. I really do. So helpful. Farm and everything like that. Like I said, it takes a few days for these ones to get in, but as you can see, yeah, we've got plenty of veg, more than we could possibly need, and we've been farming like you know fertilizer oh, not in that one not in that one yeah we've got fertilizer here fertilizer here and we've been using our pig models out the back step so we've got yep fertilizer all over the place awesome excellent so ooh, duck underneath the catwalks so let's see how this is going another one not run out of water yet. There's got three left, and there should be two from the jar. Hmm. Is it? Maybe two from the jar and um, one from the water skin. So, a couple more. Five more, please. Just take all these water skins off. Because what I tend to do is I've got like 12 water skins, uh, four for each tap. So if I just transfer those off. Nice and quick, and I just leave these here, so... As you can see, if we need any more water, we'll just go over there and grab that. Now I've got one more kibble there. One more to come from this stack, so I'll take my water jar back, thank you very much. This one done. One more in this one, and then we've got all the kibble that we could possibly need. So I'll take those back, thank you very much. Uh, we need to put some more water in here quickly because it's not going to spoil or anything like that but it won't make it until we put that water in so there we go that's the last one in there 
What's this one doing? Yeah, we've got our last kibble, so now we can put that one out and we'll take everything out. Um, we might leave the we'll leave the fibre and the spark powder in because we might need those. So As for the veg, I definitely want to save that. And berries, berries, berries. Save the medjos, throw them over there. Shall we put? I'll tell you what, I'm going to throw these in here with the eggs. Done that one. This one should be done now. Okay, so we're all done on the kibble. We've got our 16 mammoth kibble. Excellent, excellent. Wow, fire. Take that. Thank you very much. Okay, so we'll just put our stuff away so it's all prepped up, ready to go for next time. Oh, no, I want my water jar. No, give me the water jar. And we'll just fill that one up as well. Can have that. And they can go in there. Okay, so excellent, we've got a little bit of jerky left. We're gonna have to we're gonna really ramp it up now where we've been collecting lots and lots and lots of spark powder so that we can do this. It takes a while to build it up, but once you get on top of things and you've got a good you know pile of uh, resources to work from really just tame pretty much anything you want and um, so what I was going to show you yeah I was just going to show you in here this is our little kitchen cabinet and we've got all this spark powder ready to go for uh, making jerky and then the kibble following so have we got everything we need now we've got that I don't need that I'll just take all the rest of this with us so we can fly back over now and see how our mammoth is doing oh there's not there it's upstairs <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, Ripley's had a little bit of a paint job. Oh, there's a red drop over there. Should we go for that? Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're nearly at this red drop. Um, I rarely get a chance to show you the red one, so let's give it a go. Is it red? It looks magenta to me. I don't know. Oh, another holoscope attachment and a primitive pterodon saddle blueprint. Not the best. I'm guessing that can't have been a red drop then. My, I must be colorblind or something like that. Alright, so let's fly over here and check our mammoth. As you can see as well, Ripley's really starting to get some speed now. We've maxed out the melee damage, so we're coming back to movement speed. Swamp Apes guarding the team, so we'll put her down here. You let me off, please? Okay, we're just gonna... Oh, yep, off the side we go. How are you doing? You okay? Right, so what's the un unconsciousness level? Okay, so he's falling a bit. Okay, um, we're just gonna hit him with a couple more narcotics. Hmm. It's taking a bit longer than I thought it would to get him down to where I want him to be on food. We're, not, we're just over a thousand down. I just want him to be about two thousand down, is it? Mm, it's going to take a while. Uh, another eight hundred. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to go and get some stims and I'm going to make some stimulants. And then we're going to really do this fast. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're back at base. We're going to make some stimulants nice and quickly here. If you just throw on the stim bros, this is going to be <laughs> very excessive, but. Um, you know, I can use them every now and again. You don't need as many, so that's enough to make 80. You need five stim berries and two spark powder to make them, so we can make 50, oh, 80, sorry. So yeah, they, they make them really fast, so... Like I said, you really want to go light on the stimulants. Um, it can lead to disaster if you give them too many at once. Especially with the carnivores. Or, like, any creature with low level torp, avoid it. Just do not do this. If it's got a high level torp, then you're good to go. I think we're alright with about 20 there. We'll leave that to stack up because it's really, really noisy for me, that. So we can fly back over. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back over here now. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you the effects of these stimulants and how we roll with them. So I'm going to... Is this torp going down? Okay, so if one narcotic is uh, 40 top on, or 40 top up, whatever you want to call it. Right, see how it stopped there, and now it's declining again. 
Um, just keep an eye on his food as well. So we're going to hit him with one stim. So we'll wait till it gets to a nice round number so we can see where it's going to drop from. We'll do it at 50. Okay, go. Now, as you can see, his food is really declining fast now. But so is his talk. And it was at 850. And now it's slowed down again. So it was almost 50 points it took off. So 40 for a narcotic and 50 will take off for a stim. So you can micromanage it. It will go down if you micromanage it this way. But as you can see there, it's going to force him to starve a little bit faster. Which is going to help our cause. And he's going to eat all this kibble in one go. So we shouldn't lose. We'll be like 100% taming effectiveness all the way tamed through. I did try 10, but it wasn't enough. So Okay, we stopped dropping again. So we're going to dab that on. Up it goes again. Food drops faster. Switch over to the stims as soon as it stops. Drop it down again. And as soon as it stops, we'll stim him back up again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nark him back up again. So it's knock up, stim down. Knock up. And stim down. So we'll do this until he's lost like 2,000 food and then that should be more than enough to eat all this kibble, I hope. Um, what is it, like 80 food? So it should be like 1,600 food for 16 kibble. No, that's that's too much. Yeah, it should be in, a in, in around that region, so 2,000 over and above what we need it to be, so it should take him out straight away. Anyway, I will be back as soon as we're ready to do that, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're going to try this. Um, he's down over 1,500 food. Uh, we, I think we need about 1,280 or something like that. 1,280 to get him to eat 16 kibble. Hopefully, this is going to work in one blast. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to get on those. And I'm, just, I'm not going to put the medjos on it because I don't want the taming effectiveness to drop. So, we're going to drop these now. And hopefully, this will work. So, 3, 2, 1, and go. Same. Keep going. Keep going. 100% effectiveness. Is it enough to make him eat it all in one go? Come on. Oh, I'm going to have to throw these medjos on. Now. So, it's... A lot more than 16 kibble to get him all the way. Huh. Maybe I'm underestimating or overestimating how fast the taming rates are on this server. Okay, we're going to need more. Okay, stopped. <laughs> um, failed. <coughs> Where's the bar gone? Why is it right there? Come on, show me the bar. Ugh. So, about two thirds of the way there. <laughs> I guess, well, there you go. What can you do? Okay, and we'll be back when this is closer to taming again. Okay, so we're going to do something a little bit different while this mammoth is taming out because I'm getting a little bit tired of uh, waiting on the tames to happen. Oh, there's a battle, epic battle, cliffs, dying creatures, my god, yeah we've got ourselves a female scorpion and we're going to collect up a few of these because I'm going to start going after a T-Rex I think soon, and I mean like really soon because I want a T-Rex, I want to go around collecting hide and stuff, so we're going to do this one down here. Our mammoth's still taming up over there, so that's going to take a while, so... I'm sure we can do this in the meantime. And hopefully this isn't going to glitch through. So, I'll show you how I do this. Are we over our spot? Here we are, drop away. And she's in. And... Yeah, it's in. It's good, 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 good. Right, okay, so we can just land over here. And while she's there, I'm just going to go and get some spoiled meat. Plenty of spoiled meat. 
100 do it. Okay, dokey. And number five for our bow. Should be a quick knockout this. Yeah, there you go. Um, shall I risk it? Shall I risk getting down there with it? Nice. Oh, we're in. Trouble! <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, um, I'm gonna get stung. I know I am. Is she down? She's down. Okay, that was easy enough. And we're just gonna throw 100 on here. Eat. I want to see how fast these scorpions are gonna take, so. How much is it for a spoil? Me about 50, I think, isn't it? So. Again, we're just gonna half that, half that, and then just throw 25 on just in case, because the top drops really kind of fast on these, because it's got low level top, so I'll just hit it once. It's eating. It's eating. Taming. Come on. Nearly there. About 10 more seconds and it should eat. Just want to see how much it's going to do it. Anytime. Anytime for a spoiled meat. There you go. Right, so that's about a tenth. That's really gonna. That's gonna take quick. So what I'm gonna do is quickly go back because there was two of them. You see, and they were mate boosted. So I'll be back in a minute when I've got that one. Here's our guy. Grab him. Level 44. Not too bad. Should take him pretty fast. We're only gonna need one male, of course, because yeah, he'll uh, basically be the alpha of the. Scorpion pack, whatever you want to call it. There's a couple of raptors around here I'd like to have, but... Are they going to try and kill that? No? They're ignoring it. How about that, eh? So they're ignoring larger prey. So we'll just go down here now and get this guy knocked out. See how fast the other one's taming. Do, do, do. Taming a scorpion. Go on a bit. So like I said, we're just doing this while our... Uh, Mammoth bruise over there, so drop. You okay, you're in. Good, good. Sometimes they actually do glitch through the floor. I've had a couple of raptors disappear that way. Um, so let me off, please. Come on. Any time today. Don't oh, fall in the water. Right, okay. I'm going to do it from up here this time so I don't get stuck. Three. Give it a few seconds now. Neuros, narcotics, take effect on your brain. Come on, nearly there. One more. You're taking more than your missus did. Again, and he's out great stuff. So we've got a mate boosted pair now. Awesome. So what I'll do is, she's not going to eat all that meat, so I don't want to take it off. Right. Um, tricky. Five on, take that off, split it in half, put that back on. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Um, can I get access to your inventory, please? I'm trying to feed you, yo. There you go. Have that. Take some of those. And yeah, these should be tamed up, like, super fast. Okay, um, I've just got to go and check on the mammoth, so I'll be back when these have tamed up, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we've just tamed one of the scorpions. I'm not sure what we're going to call her. Um, hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, mystery scorpion for now. Actually, I need to go up and rename my uh, ankylosaurus. I've not been to see it for a while, so I was just doing this, and I got distracted, so... Yep, she's tamed up now. Only level 39 mystery. Is that she? Yeah, it's female. And uh, we found a ramshackle pulmono scorpius saddle the other day, which is cool. So we now we can park her up. Probably just going to leave her down here for a bit until the next time I've got to tame something. I will need to move them if I want to tame anything in this area again, so I've got to be careful about that. OK, 
can't leave them in here, they'll get attacked. Uh, purple drop. We've got long enough between this and this. This and this. You can have that. Yeah, we're done very shortly. So I'm going to go and get this purple drop and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're just checking on William Wallace. He seems to be doing okay. Um, Taming bar. Yeah, about three quarters of the way there. So things have slowed down a lot, as you can tell. So one, two, three, four, five. Do that. Okay, so we'll leave him be for a minute and we'll go and check. <laughs> yeah, you see the paint job I did to uh, Ripley. Yeah. It's like a clown or something. I was going after like a toucan beak or something like that. I don't think it turned out that well. Uh, we might have to delete it because I think she's a little bit ashamed about it. She looks like the head's down. I'll give her some like cyan highlights as you probably noticed. Looks pretty sweet. Helps me to tell the difference between her and Paris because I've been getting mixed up a lot. So yeah, that's annoying to me when I see that all back on a video. Anyway, back in a minute when we go and check on this other scorpion. Okay, I'm feeling like this one's near to taming. We've uh, named our girl. Um, she's called Serket, the um, Egyptian Queen Scorpion. Look it up yourself if you want. Yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to name this guy. Um, hmm. The King. Uh, Kibble King. Purple Claw. Pink Leg. I have no idea, I'm just guessing at this point. Um, hmm, I wonder what the King of the Scorpions was called, I never really looked that one up. Uh, Scorpion God. Let's have a look at that. See if we can get anything decent. Scorpion Goddesses. Circuit, yeah. Aztec Goddess of Snakes. Blah, 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 blah. Hit it. Um, I'm not sure at all, to be honest. I think I'm just going to call him King. Because the last uh, scorpion farm I had, the male was called King. So I think we'll just do that for, you know, simplicity's sake. So we've got two scorpions now. Yay. <laughs> Almost. Come on. A few more seconds. I just swag. really want to get this one on film because we missed the other one, which I'm a little bit sad about. Yeah. There we go, we got it. So we're going to call him, if I can get down. No! Come on, let me off. There you go. This guy's going to be called King. So we have our two mate boosted scorpions, and that is awesome. Lovely jubber. We'll just park him here for now, and then later on we'll pick him up and put him in the main house. Um, yep, so that's good. Now we should really go back and uh, babysit the mammoth. Oh. Don't want him following me. Oh yeah, he already was. Never mind. We can go now. I think. Let me just check one more time. So he's not spazzing out inside there. Okay. I'll be back in a bit when this mammoth is ready to tame. Okay, so we're back again and we're on the absolute last eat of this tame. Within the next few seconds, hopefully. Just hit it again with some stims. Oh, sorry, Narx. Was it Narx? Yeah. I've just been told as well that the snow and swamp biomes have dropped, so I'll have to update and see if it's affected my uh, base area because I'm located in the northwest area. There we go, and we've got him, and am I a in? So, Wall. No, 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 no. Wall Yum. Wallace. There you go. That's how you do it. So, we've got our Wall Yum Wallace, and he's 145. We lost one level just right there and there, but never mind. What can you do? And we're going to shoot that on the back there. And I believe Swamp Ape wandered off. He's doing some fire, but let's just have a quick look at him. Oh, no. As you can see, he's got all the fibre. He's doing his job nicely. Thank you very much. So we don't need to go picking any fibre anymore with um, the, whatchamacallit, the sickle. So we'll get William back to base and then we will relog and see if we've been wiped out. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. You might not see this base again, unfortunately, if it has been affected, but it might not have been. So, yeah, if you like this content and uh, you like the taming stuff and all that, give us a thumbs up because it lets us know that you want more content like this. And uh, if you've not subscribed yet, please do. We'd love to uh, chat to you in the uh, comments as well if you want to make a comment. So we're gonna, we've got our mate boosted mammoths. Will Sonia, Ellie, and William Wallace.
Aye. So I'm going to all stop there. And I'll see you again another time. Thanks for watching. Yeah. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.